Well, you know a bridey, you do. Well, like, she'd be a sister of mine, Bridie. Like, Bridie's the one that had the mobile home down in Clare. <laughs> well, like, well, like, we, well, last weekend we were down at Bridie's. Like, well, you see, well, Bridie was having a Christian night, like, you know what I mean? Well, like, well, you know, there was a fair turnout. There must have been about 30 or 40 or 50 at the Christian, you know what I mean? And you know the way you'll be with about 30 or 40 or 50 people coming out of a Christian night straight into a pub? And you know the way you'll be after coming from a Christian after stopping off in a pub like about 30 or 40, 50 people in one shot? You couldn't get a drink. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't get a drink. I couldn't get a drink. So when I get up to the counter, then I ask for a crate of Guinness, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, well, just to keep me going, like, you have me, like, you know what I mean? So I grabbed the crate of Guinness and I went straight down and I was drinking away nicely now and I'd most of the crate of Guinness drank when who arrives in on a bridey? Now, lads, ye know bridey as well as I do, right? Typical bridey, of course, you know what I mean? Are you staying here all day? Or what are you doing, says she? Right, says I, I'm going immediately. Well, you know the way you'll be after coming from a Christian, after stopping off in a pub, after drinking a crate of Guinness, going back to bridey's, like, you know what I mean? Well, well, well you see, bridey was having a kind of a two-in-one. Bridey was having the housewarming and the Christian all in the one day, do you know what I mean? Right, says I, I'm going immediately. Well, you know the way you'll be after coming from a Christian, after stopping off in a pub, after drinking a crate of Guinness, going back to a housewarming, do you know what I mean, after coming from a Christian? Well, you couldn't be going back with one hand as long as another, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> So I got another crate of Guinness and a large bottle of paddy and straight back to the bungalow with me. Well, thick and legend, had the bungalow looking lovely, huh? Oh, Jesus, my Lord. Aluminium doors, aluminium floors, aluminium gutters, aluminium shoes, aluminium downpipes, aluminium uppipes, aluminium Georgian pillars, aluminium windows. Thick, it was looking lovely now, like what I mean. And I went straight into the middle room. You know the way you'd be inclined to go into the middle room inside in the house warm and after coming from a Christian after stopping off in the pub after drinking the Christmas? I was mad for the bitter crack, like, so I went straight into the middle room and and I was drinking away nicely inside, and I'd most of the second crate of Guinness drank, and a half a bottle of paddy inside me, and I was kind of leaning again the mantelpiece. You know the, you know the way you'd be inclined to kind of lean again the mantelpiece with two crates of Guinness and a half bottle of whiskey inside you, like, when who arrives in on a bridey? Jesus is bridey to me, Jack, will you mind just lighting? <laughs> I won't, says I, I'm fine. Well, you know the way you'll be with two crates of Guinness and a half bottle of whiskey inside you, like, will you give over, you're going to knock the whole place down. I won't, says I, I'm fine. And I get in pure tick with a drink with the two crates of Guinness and a half bottle of whiskey inside me. At an angle of 45 degrees to the floor, do you know what I mean? Defy, de defying the law of gravity, and I gathered enough all the figurines at one end of the mental place. <laughs> to myself. Jesus, will oh mind, you're going to bring the whole lot down. I won't, says I, I'm fine. Well, let's whatever move I made. Everything that was on top of the mantelpiece came straight down onto the floor. And where did I end up? But inside in the fucking fire. Jesus, Friday. Will you get out? Is she you're going to burn? I won't, says I, I'm fine. And I get into your tick with the drink again. Will you get out? You're going to burn today. I won't, says I, I'm fine. And I get into your tick with the drink with the two crates of Guinness and a half bottle of whiskey inside me. Well, let's whatever move I made. I rolled out of the floor on top of the new carpet. Well, if the shit didn't hit the fan, was all it. Well, Jesus, says Bride, it isn't bad enough. You want to burn yourself now? You want to burn down the new house? Will you get out, says she? I won't, says I, I'm fine. And the court and the vest burnt off my back and I could feel the top of the underpants going, do you know what I mean? <laughs> and I was kind of rolling round trying to keep everything under control. Will you get out? You're going to burn the whole place down. I won't, says I, I'm fine. Well, let's no word the way as I dampen things down. As soon as I stood up, lads, the blisters, the fake and blisters, the blisters, the blisters that came up in my back, they were dead, they were dead. Fuck it, they were dead size. <laughs> they were big blisters, like, you know what I mean? And Bridie took one look at me and she dived over the sofa. Will you get out? Says she, you're about to burst. I won't, says I, I'm fine. And I didn't pure tick with the drink again. Will you get out? Says she, you're going to explode. I won't, says I, I'm fine. Well, let's no word of a liar. Whatever move I made, <laughs> every blister that was on top of my back burst and Bridie was there. And she was giving out show as you're a disgrace. Look at this day to you. You'll have to get in drunk. You'll have to knock down the figurines. You'll have to fall into the fire. You'll have to burn yourself, burn the but you're after exploding all over the living room. And you're after making a show of me. And you're after making a show of mammy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ficket says I, Bridie. That's a dirty dig now, says I. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Well, you know the way you'd be yourself, like, what I mean? You know the way you'd be now with two crates of Guinness and a half bottle of whiskey inside you, like? You'd hate to have Mammy dragged into anything, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, uh, but she's like... 
Well, you see, Bridie knew that I was getting upset and cute enough Bridie. Bridie turns round to me and Bridie says to me, will you drink a cup of tea? <laughs> I will, says I. You know the way you'd be you now, like after two crates of Guinness and a half bottle of whiskey, like, after falling into a fire, like, you'd love a cup of tea, do you know what I mean? <laughs> So I went straight into the kitchen after Bridie and she was boiling up a kettle and she was cutting up a bit of meat to make a ham sandwich. <laughs> well, lads, no word of a lie. Whatever move I made, <laughs> I got a fit of reversing from the whiskey. <laughs> Do you know what I mean, like? Well, you see, like, I was inclined to go backwards. Do you follow me? Well, you see, if I could look at lads, I didn't want to go anywhere at all. I was happy where I was, you know what I mean? But fake it, I'd no control over it. And as I started the stagger back, wasn't I building up a bit of speed as well at the same time? Well, lads, when Bridie heard the thump, she turned around, and I had gone head over heels into the deep freeze, and all she could see of me was the two hooves cocked in the air. When Jesus, Mary and Joseph, and God forgive me for swearing, says she, will you get out, says she, you'll freeze. I won't, says I, I'm fine. And I get in pure thick with the drink again. Will you get out, says she, you'll die of exposure. I won't. Once as I am fine. Well, no wonder the lilacs. As soon as I hit the deep freeze, every drop of alcohol that was inside in the vein, the brain, the bladder, the small intestine, the large intestine, the gut, the stomach, the bowels, the whole lot, it all froze up solid. <laughs> now, two crates of Guinness and a half bottle of whiskey froze up inside me. Four and a half days I spent inside in the deep freeze. <laughs> Four and a half days in a constant state of inebriation. <laughs> Four and a half days on two crates of Guinness and a half bottle of whiskey. It was the cheapest piss up I ever 